Welcome to Pamela's Plant-Based Kitchen. Tonight we are making spicy potato kale bowls with tahini mustard dressing. So what we have started to do is to clean our kale greens. And I've already pre-cleaned them, but I want to show you how I strip the kale from the stalk. I buy a bunch of kale at Harris Teeter. It's about $1.49 for a bunch. Very good price for the money. This is one of uh, the G-bombs that Dr. McDougall and Dr. Furman and Dr. Greger talk about. The greens and the G-bombs are what this kale is about. So I've already washed and chopped up my kale greens and I'm going to put on the greens some lemon juice. Lemon juice helps to break up the texture of the greens so they're not quite as fibrous when you eat them in your salad. And so what you do is you massage your greens for a couple of minutes with the lemon juice on it and it helps to really make it a little easier to chew and to get all of that wonderful nutrition that you're going to have in your system. So we put the lemon juice on the greens We've already taken the ribs, the hard part out of the greens. When you're massaging it, if you find a hard piece in the green, just strip it out. It's real easy to get rid of. And uh, we're ready to put these in the bowl. So I've got two large bowls here. This is an entree salad. So we're just going to fill the bowls up with these wonderful fresh kale greens that we've massaged in the lemon juice to help break down the fibers and make them easier to chew. So now we have to make the dressing for the bowls that we're going to have. So we started with a half a cup of tahini for our base that we're going to have here. We have it in our cup. I'm going to grab a whisk so I can take and whisk that up a little bit easier here. And uh, we're going to next put in a little bit of mustard with the tahini that we have, and it calls for a tablespoon of mustard. Um, in the meantime, I have half a teaspoon of salt that I'm putting into it. Okay, our tablespoon of mustard is here. And we're going to put in two tablespoons of vinegar. You can use any flavor vinegar that you want to use. I'm using a red wine vinegar. Of course, the alcohol has already been cooked out of the vinegar, so it's not alcoholic. So we have our yellow mustard, our lemon juice, just a splash. Um, we're going to have a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, which we have right here. That goes into our dressing that we're going to whisk together. So we want half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And uh, next we're going to do a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And after this we're going to put in a teaspoon of oregano. I watch a lot of European channels and they call it oregano, but we call it oregano. We're going to put one teaspoon in here, and it calls for the dried variety. We could use fresh if we wanted, but I think in the dressing that the dried um, oregano is a better choice. So we're going to whisk this together and get it all emulsified and all those yummy flavors. Um, it says if it's a little bit thick that you can put a little bit of water in it. Um, it is a little bit thick. I, I'll put a splash of water with it and we'll whisk that together. You could also use vegetable broth for a little more nutrition if you'd like to. Okay, this is our dressing. It's ready to go. We've got our four cups of kale in the bowl with our lemon juice and now we're going to get out of the oven the topping that we've already prepared. So at 425 degrees, we have prepared our topping that we're going to put on the salad. Now this topping includes one pound of potatoes, 
Um, you can use any type of potatoes that you like. Sweet potatoes would be fine. I used Irish potatoes. I used the Yukon Gold variety today. Um, it also has one entire green bell pepper, and we have with it um, some jalapeno pepper. So it's going to, that's the spicy kick that you're going to have in your salad, is the jalapeno pepper. This is nice and hot, straight from the oven, so I'm gingerly picking these off of the paper, trying to get every yummy piece that we have roasted in the oven for about 20 minutes. So some people say, how do you know how much a pound of potatoes are without doing the math if you have a bag that you bought them in? Well, I happen to have a kitchen scale, and so when I put the unit on, you can either measure it in grams or in pounds, and when I put the potatoes on, it comes out to approximately two medium potatoes. That equals the um, pound that we use. So I used two potatoes, one green pepper. I used half of a jalapeno because I had quite a large one. It was about this big. And then along with that, it had seasoning of half a teaspoon of chili powder and half a teaspoon of paprika along with a little bit of salt and pepper. And that was a red onion that we used in there. So we now have that finished and we're getting ready to dress our salad with our yummy tahini dressing. And we have an entree salad ready to eat for our dinner. And I hope that you will try this recipe and have a spicy kale entree salad with roasted potatoes, green peppers, jalapeno, red onion, and a nice tahini and mustard salad dressing. Enjoy it.